everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Crafts. If you're new to my channel, welcome aboard. On this channel, I do a lot of home DIY projects and different type of crafting. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. In today's DIY project, I am going to be showing you how to make your own Christmas front door wreath. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and do so. Also, make sure you turn your notification bell on, therefore you can be the first to get my next upload. All the items that I'm using in today's DIY project will be in my description box below, so feel free to go ahead and check that out. So I started out by cutting my flowers down, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to weave the flower into the grapevine wreath. Now I know you guys might be wondering why didn't she secure the flower? Well I didn't secure the flower because I want to make sure everything is going to line up in the correct spot when it's time to do so. So I'm putting the flower there and you're going to see the reason why I did that. Okay, keep watching. So now I'm going to go ahead and I am going to make my bow. There are many different ways of making a bow. Sometimes I do it this way, sometimes I do it other way. For this video, I am doing the folding method. So all I'm gonna be doing is folding my ribbon back and forth, back and forth until I reach the desired amount that I need. So as you guys can see, I am counting to see how much um, folding I've done, which is one, two, three, four. So I have four folding, which means I'm going to have eight pieces of puff for my bow. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to squish in the middle, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my wire, for the wire, and I'm just going to wrap that around. Now you can use those twisters. Yes, I do have those twisters, but they're not in my reach at the moment. So I'm using what's on my table. You could use whatever you want to tie that. You could use another piece of ribbon, but I chose to use my thorn wire because that's what's close by. So I'm just gonna twist that around, wrap that around, and twist, twist, twist till it's secure, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull each of the folding part of the bow out just to make sure the bow came out how I wanted it before I actually cut the ribbon. Because the last thing you want to do is to cut the ribbon and then the bow doesn't look the way you want it. Then it's kind of like waste of ribbon if you want it to be bigger. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm unfolding all the fold to see how it's going to look. So now that my bow looked the way I wanted it to look, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that piece off. And the bow turned out absolutely beautiful. It's the perfect size that I want. Look at that. It sits right between those um, eucalyptus. Look, I can't say that word. Eucalyptus. Did I say that right, guys? Type me a comment in the comment section. Let me know if I said it right. To attach my bow to the grapevine, I'm using the same foil wire. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap around, wrap it around, and make sure it's nice and tight. Um, then I make a twist. Now you can use a piece of ribbon to do so. Again, you can use those twister wires and put that on. You could also hot glue the bow on, but I hate to use hot glue. For some reason, when I'm making wreaths, I just hate to use hot glue. I like to use the wire in case, especially because I reuse my wreaths. So I could always take the, um, the flower and the bow off and redecorate it, and it's not a problem with the glue, so nothing get damaged. So now that the bow is on secure nice and tight, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to puff that bow. And that's what I'm doing there. I'm going in between. I'm separating the folds and I'm puffing the bow. So now it's actually starting to look like a bow. After securing the bow, I went ahead and I removed my eucalyptus. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a butterfly at the end of the ribbon. Is it a butterfly or bird tail? I don't know. It's 
something, I'm gonna clip the end of the ribbon. And as you guys can see, my OCD start kicking in as I start feeling like I have too much things on my table. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to reattach the leucalypses and the reason why I moved them at first is because now I know exactly where to place them after putting my bow on. So as you see these leaves they're like all over the place they're backwards forwards so all I'm doing I was doing was taking them off and turn them around so it could look more alive you know. Then I'm going to take my floral wire I'm going to cut a small piece and I'm going to use that to attach the leucalyptus or the greenery to my grapevine again you can use hot glue the wire is my preference as i said it's just way easier because it's easier to reuse the wreath and the greenery there is a secret but to use in the wire and here is the secret guys it doesn't go anywhere unless you cut it off or you unwind it or untwine it sorry with the hot glue sometimes it comes apart the hot glue does come apart especially if you um, has direct sun on your door so that hot glue does come apart so with the wire it's perfect so now my greenery is all secure and I'm just puffing um, that side playing around with it to make sure everything lies down in the correct way and just to make sure that everything is wired correctly so here we go I think that part needed another piece of wire so I'm going in and I'm gonna secure that piece yes guys it's that easy these wreaths are so expensive if you go inside of the store the stores or you go on the um etsy shop these wreaths are very expensive yes you can find a wreath for $19.99 but it doesn't look anything like this so it's that simple $20 for the eucalyptus $10 for the ribbon $6 or more for the grapevine depends on the size you chose uh the the berries Berries are a little bit on the expensive side too. And the leucalypses, they're expensive. But at the end of the day, you can make your own wreath for $50 versus buying one for $200. I hope you guys find this video to be educated, informative, interested. And I hope you guys are enjoying this video thus far. So guys, what had happened here was the piece of greenery I was about to attach was a little bit too short. So I went back for the rest that I have left over and cut a longer piece. So that's what I'm doing there, cutting a longer piece. And I'm trying to fight it, trying to rip up my hands, but it wasn't working. So here we go, went back for the floral cutter. I don't know why I think I'm superwoman. And yeah, there we go. It's perfect. It fits in that spot very nice. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to be using my floral wire to attach the greenery to the grapevine like I did on the opposite side. And that's it it's that simple I have a ball spot right there so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna place another leaf right there watch keep watching you're gonna see that so 
now it's time to add my small berries so I'm using my hot glue and some of those berries and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of hot glue on the berries and then I'm gonna um, place that on the tip of the greenery all right It's already starting to look beautiful those red berries are giving it a nice pop look at that Question of the day, are you guys already start decorating for Christmas or are you guys going to wait till after Thanksgiving to decorate for Christmas? Type me a comment in the comment section and let me know. If you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out. Please go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about my Christmas front door wreath. Would you try this or would you not? I love hearing from you guys. I reply to all my comments, so I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. As I always say, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.